So our campsite is like on a point. Um, so it's South Point is the name of our campsite, but it's literally on a point uh, that goes out into the lake and into Thunder Bay. So it's kind of a divide between Thunder Bay and, and Lake Huron, I guess. Um, so we showed you on my site, this is the other side of the point. So it's definitely a lot calmer over here. It's super windy uh, since last night. So I haven't been able to film much because it's just too windy. Um, there's like constant 14, 50 mile an hour winds. It's just brutal. But over here, it's like dead calm. So, I mean, you can see the water here is just kind of rippling, right? And it's hot over this side. And then you see out there, it's just full on white caps. So, but we're hiking out to the furthest point uh, right now, just following the beach along, trying to find the, the final point in South Point that the trail takes you to. So, this has been a great trip. I have not filmed much of it at all because it's just been kind of windy, but it's been a lot of fun just to not do anything. I did make a cool bushcraft chair though. I'll show you that in a minute. That was a big fish. I'd say we made it to South Point. We made it, we're here. So cool.
So when I go backpacking, I tend to bring this little REI chair, it collapses down, it weighs like nothing. Throw in your pack and it's fine. The problem is it sits super low and it's hard to get out of, you know. So I made this. Little bushcraft chair so now I can sit up higher I can lean back a little bit and relax I'm not the first one to make this kind of chair but it's the first time I made it I made mistakes but it's comfortable and I can sit in it so I'm gonna leave it here for the next people that come if they want to use it they can if not they can turn it into firewood but it's pretty cool Oh, nice. A few moments later. So, this is day three. We've been out here. Uh, yesterday we hiked probably seven miles. And today we did another six ish. I'm um, walking around to the point and had to go to. Uh, back and forth to the truck, which is two miles there and back, so. Um, I smell. So now I'm hiking back next to our site. If you follow the beach, there's a little bay over here that I kind of found earlier. Pretty private, secluded, there's, there's nothing really around. No trails get to it, you gotta follow the beach, so. I'm gonna go over there and take a bath in the water because I smell. So I got my towel in hand, I'm ready to go. But the reason I'm going over here is um, it's sandy. So the only gripe, I love our site, um, but the only complaint, which isn't anyone's fault, but um, the beach, for some reason, this year is super, super rocky. I don't remember that in past years. I, I remember the first time I came here, uh, we actually hiked, or I actually kayaked to the site in an inflatable kayak, which was mental, because I was taking an inflatable kayak on Lake Huron most of the way, but I had kayaked here, and... I remember the beach being very sandy when I came up on it, so over the years I guess the sand has washed away and revealed a whole bunch of just real big super slippery rocks. And it's not really great for swimming, it's, it's hard to get out to the sandy stuff, so I'm walking over here because this earlier when I came here was very sandy and very calm. So like you could tell as I'm getting closer to it here. The sound of the waves is even getting calmer. So, I'm gonna get myself a little cleaned up because I kind of can't stand the smell of myself in my hammock anymore. Much better, feel better, feel less sticky, smelly. All right, so now that I'm clean, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna make dinner, um, get a fire going and settle in for hopefully the second good night. Last night was cloudy and kind of rainy. Um, we didn't get to see too many meteors, but the night before we did. So tonight's looking like a clear night, so get a fire going kind of relax and then uh wait for wait for the show to begin one last note i don't think anyone is ever too old 
for skinny dipping. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but right there on the end of that, where that little tree is that sticks up on the end of that little point, there's a deer sitting there just drinking water before, you know, nighttime rolls in officially. I've been sitting here watching him for like the past 20 minutes. Really cool, peaceful. All right, well, it's the last night of the trip. Tomorrow we're gonna pack up early and head out. So I don't know if this will be the end, but if you like this type of content, subscribe down below, click the thumbs up so you don't miss the next piece that comes out. Uh, and I'll see you on the next one.